What do you think? Amazing day today. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Yes. Another great one. Well, until later on tonight, I think. Let's check in with Mick to find out. All right. Hey, yeah, I believe we are staring in the face the nicest day of the week, the most beautiful day of the week, other than a little fog in the far northern end of the valley this morning, and that's uh, dissipating none of the airports anywhere up north reporting any visibility issues. We've had a line of very slow-moving thunderstorms tracking through southern Minnesota, and uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, went severe in Candy, Ojai, McLeod, Meeker, and Renville counties, moving out of Hutchinson, just pounded Olivia with half-dollar-sized hail, and that's a big uh, seed corn producing area down there. This afternoon, we could fire up some thunderstorms in northeastern South Dakota, west central and central Minnesota, as close as Battle Lake, Otter Tail, Wadena, and these will, by 8 p.m., track over into the Brainerd, Mille Lacs area and then towards Duluth, down towards north of the Twin Cities. But actually, anywhere, in central Minnesota, along I-94 is vulnerable for some thunderstorm activity. And then that stuff uh, out there in north central North Dakota will move through in the overnight hours. This computer model run currently putting it mostly in the northern end of the valley. But I think everybody could get rudely awakened by some thunder and lightning in the early hours, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, just kind of like last Saturday morning. Southeast wind about 5 to 10, and they're already up to 66 in Fargo. You're right, a beautiful day on the way. Thank you, Mick. You're welcome. Are we playing cards here? Oh, no, I we're not. I'm, I'm going golfing <laughs> after what Mick just said. I so. know. Focus, focus. <laughs> we're talking cakes now. Dairy Queen. Cakes. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody uh, in the house is celebrating a birthday today. That's why we're giving away well, some cakes. Well, of course. Of course. Not yet, though. What do you mean, not yet? Well, not until... Our, are you talking our? Somebody else in the building has a birthday? What? I thought you were talking about ours. Does she know where she's at right now? <laughs> of course I do. I thought it was the ninth. <laughs> the ninth oh, is when we are celebrating our birthday. What day is today? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, just, I'm just asking. It's the third. But anyways, we got a birthday coming so up. So who's not in the right place? Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're going to celebrate, but not till next week. <laughs> Like, where's Your he going face with was this? Hysterical. Where's he going with this? You always, you always keep me on my guard. Anyway, we're giving away Dairy Queen cakes yes. to celebrate our birthday. Who doesn't love a free cake? You can start registering today and next week. All next week, we're giving away three cakes a day. This what? is great. Isn't that awesome? Sorry. And when you win, fan these out so everyone can see. Go pick them up, and then you got to come back and take some pictures with us. We can put them up on Facebook. Look at that. Look at all those cakes. Very easy to do. Go to <laughs> ndtoday.tv, register to win. Yeah. And yes, we are celebrating a birthday soon. Yeah, one year. Can you believe it? That's amazing. Wow, they're keeping us on the air for a year. <laughs> wow. Time <laughs> Thank flies you, management. When you're fun. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know who else is celebrating a little, uh, I don't know if it's an anniversary or what, but the Wilkin. Yeah, in Breckenridge, the Wilkin Love restaurant. This place. How many years? 107. Teen. Yeah. Kudos to the Wilkin. And anytime yeah. I'm down in Breck, my you know, my grandparents lived down in Wapton. In mm -hmm. fact, just I think it was a week or two ago, my grandma and I went there and grabbed some kind of a like lunch dinner thing and great ambiance, mm -hmm. incredible food every time you go there. Yeah, the building itself is just so it's it's historic and the inside really cool looking. I don't know what reporter and photographer team hasn't been to the Wilkin. I mean, really, through the years, when you're in that area, okay, let's head to the Wilkin. Let's go eat a burger. Let's go 117 get... years yeah. is incredible. Yeah. So kudos, a little golf clap to the Wilkin for being around that long and yeah. obviously for serving great food and beer. Another mm -hmm. restaurant local, it's kind of a neat idea. So one of the big things, you know, if you're around Fargo, they keep talking about, look, we need more sort of artsy stuff. Yes. Get our downtown kind of, you know, have a little artsy vibe to it. So yep. last night, the city commission said, hey, let's try something here with Vinyl Taco. Mm -hmm. We're going to set up a little kind of stage, if you will, on the street and let street performers go and sort of do their thing. So yeah. now you can sit down by the Vinyl Taco and eat and mm -hmm. listen to some performances. Exactly. It'll be right in front of the, the restaurant, I believe, in like the space of a parking space, not taking up a lot of room, um, pretty compact, and performers, yeah, perform right there. Best part is I think they're going to have a mariachi band there, and then while you're, you know, <laughs> you sitting wish. there trying to have a nice romantic little vinyl taco dinner, sure, dinner, sure. you can go all Ben Stiller on them like this. Would you stop? Would you stop? I'm paying a lot of money to stay at the.
this hotel. I'm on my honeymoon. We just want to have a nice, quiet lunch. Eddie, Eddie, it's okay. They're not... No, Eddie. it's not okay. We're newlyweds. We just want to have a quiet time together. How can we have any good memories if you guys keep... Eddie, 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 it's okay. I got this. <laughs> it won't quite be like that. We hope that nobody, you know, flips out on you as you're performing. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, I know. That scene is so great. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> Speaking of arts, though, they're trying to figure out what to do with the Civic Center. Um, you know, once it's vacated, once the new city hall goes up, and do we put some arts in there too? A lot of people are uh, encouraging that. Not everyone's on board, but at least it's being but talked it's, about. It's definitely being talked about. Yeah. Turn it into sort of like a mini amphitheater, if you will. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, maybe are, are a, I don't know, a performer that you can't fill up the Fargo Dome, and you're going to definitely fill up, you know, the Fargo Theater. They're talking about a place here at the Civic Center where it might be just the right fit. One of the names that they threw around was James Taylor, which I love yeah. James Taylor. Mm -hmm. Down in Mexico. <laughs> da -da. You're kind of in that that's singing like, oh, that song vibe is today. Great. So, so I guess the big question is, you know, are you a proponent of this? Does Fargo need another entertainment venue or not? So we'll kind of see how this plays out. But yeah. it'd be great to get like a, you know, James Taylor and some of those accents out. Yeah, I sure would. Absolutely. And if you are looking for something to do on Thursday, tomorrow, who doesn't love chili and who doesn't love chocolate, right? The YWCA ha is holding its annual uh, chocolate fantasy and chili, too. So you can go. I mean, I, have you been there before? No. Oh, my gosh. I've volunteered, too. Um, there's, like, yes, decadent chocolate everywhere and chili, too. And uh, it, it's... Oh, wait, I think oh. I have been to this. I think it's I served one year amazing. at this thing. Exactly. And it was incredible. Yes. Yes, it really is. So it's Thursday at the Holiday Inn, 11 to 7. Tickets are, tickets are 15 bucks for adults. And, oh, there's Lisa <laughs> and Kyle. Kyle. Yep, and 5 bucks for children. And the, you may see, too. You just, yeah, you just can't go wrong. No, it really event. is great. Yeah, and help out women and children at the shelter, the YWCA shelter. And amen to that. I mean, hopefully CeeLo Green's going to show up and get schooled. Did you hear about him with his tweets? I think he probably will. Tweets? <laughs> Oh. Oh my gosh. I read about, I saw a, briefly on it the is. Day about some tweets where he was joking about. Like, so he apparently laces this girl's drink with ecstasy. Uh, obviously, she was assaulted. That's the, you know, what she's saying. And so oh, he goes in and pleads yeah. no contest. Yeah. Then goes on Twitter and says, oh, it's, you know, R A P E, if only if you remember it. On yeah, Twitter! Yeah, yeah. I and then what makes me so sad is the dude got 306, or no, three years probation and like 300 hours of community service. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's just, it's... I didn't know about the tweet, but I knew about the other stuff. Phew, yeah. You're like, really? I mean, just because the guy's a celeb, you're only in it. I mean, the dude should be behind bars. Yeah, no, I agree. So I anyways, agree. you get out there and support this because I think we're seeing more and more of obviously... I think the big thing for me is how society tends to diminish the value of women. Look what happened with oh, the completely. NFL and Roger Goodell. You know, this situation here and what law enforcement did there. And so go support these kind of organizations so that we can say, hey, this, this isn't right and change the conversation. You were scoring big points this morning. Yeah. Way to go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I expected it, but like, yeah. Well, I just, Way you know, go. I mean, you look at the dude, the judge in Montana. Guy mm -hmm. stands in front of the judge and says, yeah, I did that to that young student of mine. He got yeah. 30 days in I jail. Know. I know. I agree completely. Mm -hmm. So let's, this is a great great story uh, coming up this weekend is the 45th powwow it's the united tribes international powwow in bismarck they got a special guest speaker by the name of billy mills mm -hmm. some of you may remember his name mm -hmm. uh 1964 first native to go out there and win a gold medal in the olympics i think it was in the 10k run here's some footage of a powwow obviously but i want to play for you a clip he's got a movie called running brave just a quick clip here about billy mills on October 14, 1964, he stunned the world by running the most sensational race in Olympic history. It's not too late for you. You still got a chance. They said it couldn't be done. An Olympic runner doesn't decide. So he's going to be speaking, I believe, Friday morning to uh, obviously at anyone? this event. Yeah, anyone and at the Palo. And the Palo is amazing. I've covered it and attended it you know, when living in Bismarck, and it's really phenomenal. You want to hear what's amazing about his story? At the end of that trailer, mm -hmm. they say that he won the gold medal in a pair of borrowed shoes. Really? It's just, it's just... Wow. So kudos, and glad to have Billy, obviously, in the state. 
Well, you know, we always like to bring you um, little things from parents because it's a tough world out there when you're raising kids. Trust me. And so we <laughs> found some tweets from parents just kind of relaying what their day is like, how they're kind of taken down sometimes by their kids. Do we have those? Okay, we have a couple. Outsmarted mommy, toddlers are a daily reminder that you can, in fact, get your blank <laughs> kicked by someone much smaller than you. That's a good one. Um, I can't quite see the next one because Exploding there's... unicorn. Me, hey, don't hit people. Four-year-old, but I really want to. <laughs> hey, welcome to adulthood, kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Hey, Dad, let's pretend we're superheroes. Okay, I'm Batman. Yeah, and I'm mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I know. Because I said so. I'm your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't pronounce this name, but I was no. going to fix my hair and makeup before taking the four-year-old to his first day of pre-K, but I don't like to set standards. I know I can't. <laughs> that is so Jeez. true. <laughs> That's where baseball caps come in handy. Um, let's see. If I could reach the cups, I'm pretty sure my kids would kick me out of the house. I don't really get that one. I don't either, but what busted. Care? It's like, you know, if they're too little and they're like trying to, hey, mommy, can you get the oh. cup from the cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. No. Jeez. Okay. This okay. is classic. I mean, we talked about this when obviously school started in West Fargo and Fargo. It started this week, obviously, in Minnesota. Busted flip flops. If there was a bar across the street from an elementary school, I bet there'd be a lot of parents in there on the kids' <laughs> first day of school. Maybe. Toasting to, yes, the school year is back. <laughs> I bet you're right. I love when kids say, last night, Isabel and I are playing Go Fish, and I got mm -hmm. done eating dinner, and she's like, yeah, Daddy, we watched your uh, night show tonight. Your hair looks so beautiful. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Isabel. That's sweet. <laughs> all right, so much coming up. Dating, best websites, and clothing, and food. It's all coming up next.